Satnam. This is a fantastic thing that you can do if you are suffering from fibromyalgia. Now, I don't need to explain to any of you who are suffering with fibromyalgia how it feels because it feels horrible in your body, obviously. And oftentimes the fibromyalgia, as you're well aware, goes with the chronic fatigue as well. Not just the tiredness, but the fogginess of the brain, all of it. Now, there is a couple of different yogic techniques that you can use that are very beneficial. And what I want to do is, first of all, and just bear with me, just so I can give you an analogy, I want to describe to you more likely than not what's happening with your physiology of your body. If you think of yourself as being a car and you've got your foot on the gas pedal, you're doing 80 miles an hour down the road, eventually what starts to happen is that that RPM in your car starts to approach that, that red line. Different things start to overheat. The pistons and the engine are going up and down really, really fast. The, the oil, the viscosity of it is starting to get overheated. The car starts to sort of overheat. In our bodies, we would call that an inflammatory condition. And an inflammatory condition oftentimes has to do with very sore muscles, very sore joints. You can't move. Putting on a shirt is uncomfortable. So that pressing of the gas pedal from a medical point of view is what's called sympathetic overdrive. It is your nervous system going, 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 going. Now there's a counteract to that. Simply, all we need to do is just kind of just let our foot off the gas. And that's what this particular technique helps you to do. Is it helps you to take your foot off of the gas because it just cools things off. So if our bodies are overheating, the engine's overheating, what do we do? We need to add in something that's going to cool it so that the car can run more efficiently. Hence, our bodies can run more efficiently. So I'm going to show you a technique that you can use to do that. And there's another technique that you can do along with it. So I'm going to teach you two different techniques that you can do. The other technique, go back to the car analogy, is, you know, when you're driving your car and if you take your hands off of the steering wheel and the car is driving down the road, sometimes the car pulls to the left or sometimes the car pulls to the right without you even steering. It's just the alignment of the car is off. Now, we can keep the car straight by putting our hand on the wheel and just keep the car relatively straight. Even though the car wants to list one way or the other, we're keeping it straight. The problem with that is, is that the tires will wear unevenly if there's not a front end alignment. The joints, the ball joints in the, in the actual tires and how the uh, tires connect to the rods that come through the steering mechanisms, they start to get worn out. So even though we look like we're going straight, we're still kind of tilted. So there's a technique that we can bring into this that helps to bring balance into those both sides of our body into very subtle channels called nadis that help to bring a balance to us. So not only am I going to show you something that you can use to help cool things down when you're having that inflammatory condition, I'm going to show you something else that you can do on a regular basis that will help keep you straight so that you don't need to struggle at keeping the tires one way or the other. The car will just run straight through. The first technique to cool things off, especially when you have that inflammatory condition, it's a pranayam. Pranayam is an a, a ability to use our breath to change how the, the life force, the prana, flows through our bodies. So it's a very simple thing that you can do. You're going to sit. Sit in the chair, sit on the floor, but you'll sit. Sit tall. Put your arms out over your knees. You're going to touch both hands into what's called Gyan Mudra. So you're going to touch your index finger and your thumb tips. So you're going to touch them together. The other fingers are straight. Palms face upwards. And simply what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes and draw your attention up through here. As we breathe in, we're going to breathe in through a curled tongue. So that's simply just sticking out your tongue and curling it. And you're going to breathe in. Once you've breath, uh, breathed in as much as you can, then take the top of your tongue and touch it to the roof of your palate. 
as you exhale. Almost right away, you'll feel the coolness of your tongue touching the palate. When you've exhaled, then you breathe in again. Exhale, draw the tongue back in, touch the tongue to the top of the palate. And you exhale again. And you continue to do this. Now, you can do this in rounds, meaning you count. So you can do it up to 26. So you can breathe in and out. That's one. And you can do that up to 26 times. Or you can do it for a set amount of time, whichever is more convenient for you. But it's done in a very graceful sort of a manner. Now, I did it so that you could hear me breathing in and out, but you want it to be done in a graceful sort of a manner. So let me just do a couple of rounds of it so you can see it demonstrated, and then you can practice this on your own afterwards. So you'll sit tall, your eyes closed again, fold, uh, focus all of your attention up to that brow point. You're sitting tall, your chest is out, your chin is in, and you breathe in very gently through that curled tongue. And then you exhale, touching the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And then inhale again. Bring the tongue in to exhale, touch it to the roof of the mouth, exhale through the nose. and so forth and so on. You will continue that pattern. Again, either count for 26 or set a timer. Don't get too locked down on, you know, oh, I only did it for 24. Don't get too locked down on that. Just do it maybe for time when you first start doing it. Once you've done that, once you've done the either 26 or you've done the five minutes or six minutes or whatever you set for yourself to do it in, once you've done that, you've Taking a deep breath through both nostrils this time. Hold the breath gently. Exhale. And you'll sit, okay? So again, curl the tongue. Bring the tongue back in. Exhale. That cools things down. That's taking your foot off the gas a little bit. Cooling down the engine. Adding some antifreeze, if you will, to the radiator. But now, let's fix the front end alignment too. So that front end alignment, what we're going to do is a technique that's called Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana means balancing the nadis. So this is a way to sort of get that front end of your car to not pull one way or the other, but to get it in alignment. So if you let go of the wheel, the car is still going to go straight. This is a very simple technique to do as well. Once again, left arm is in Gyan Mudra, palm facing upwards. The right hand is going to be different. This is going to be a little bit active. So you're going to take your index finger and your middle finger and you're going to touch them onto that point in between the eyebrows. So you're just going to touch them, put them right there. You're also going to draw your eye attention with your eyes closed to that point. That's what's called a drishti. An eye focus or an eye gaze is a drishti. So you're going to close your eyes and draw your attention of your eyes up to that point while you're also touching it with your index finger and your middle finger. Now, the right thumb and the right ring finger are going to alternately be blocking off the nostrils. So we begin by blocking off the right nostril, breathe all of the air out of the left nostril, and then breathe in through the left, and then you're gonna block off the left nostril with the, the ring finger and breathe out through the right. Then you're gonna breathe in through the right, out the left. In left, out right, in right, out left, in left, out right, 
in right, out left. And you keep going back and forth like that. So going from the left to the right and from the right to the left constitutes one round. You want to do that for five to six rounds minimally, or again, set a timer, set a timer. You always want to end off with the exhale of the left. And again, once you've done your set number of rounds, you'll drop the right hand down. You'll breathe in through both nostrils, keeping the eyes closed. You'll gently hold the breath. Then you'll exhale. And then you can sit as long as you care to. So let's just go through it without any more explanation. Let me just go through a couple rounds of it. Practice this with me. And then later on, when you do this meditation on your own, practice this meditation, set it for a time or five minutes, six minutes for each one, for both the sitali breath, sitali, and the nadi shadna. Practice them both five or six minutes each, or you know, a little less if you're not accustomed to doing this. But let's, let's practice this together, just a few rounds. I'll breathe out loud so you can hear the breath. But again, you want to keep the breath as silent as you can on both of them. But I'll breathe out loud so that you can hear it. So let's start with the seat delay breath, cooling things off, taking our foot off the gas. So you'll sit, sit tall with your chest out, your chin in, your eyes are drawn upwards to the brow point. Stick out your tongue if you can. And if you can't, by the way, if you can't stick out your tongue, you can do something similar where you close your teeth show your teeth, put the tongue behind the teeth, and breathe in this way. Exhale will be the same. You close the, the mouth, touch the tongue to the roof of the palate. So for those of you who can't make a U with your tongue, you can't curl your tongue, this is the alternate way that you can do it by closing your teeth, okay? Let's practice a couple rounds. And then you would continue. And then once you have finished whatever time you set for yourself, you'd breathe in through both nostrils. Hold the breath gently. And then exhale. And then you take a pause just for a moment or two before we start Nadi Shodana. And when you're ready, once again, we're going to take our index finger and our middle finger. We're going to touch the eyebrow point as well as our eyes as well, focused up to the eyebrow point. We're going to block off our right nostril, breathe out through the left, and then breathe in through the left. Out the right. In right. Out left. In left. Out right. In right. Out left. In left, out right, in 
and right. Out left. And when you've finished either your time or your rounds, you'd breathe in through both nostrils. Hold the breath gently. Still looking at the brow point, eyes closed. And then you would exhale the breath. And when you're breathing in that manner, in that alternate nostril manner, do your best to try and make the breath even. So the inhale and the exhale match. There's other ways to do it, where you can do it in ratios. But for the purposes of this, breathe in, breathe out evenly, and just keep alternating back and forth. So do those two practices. You're in an inflammatory condition for what's going on in you, and you want to cool things off for yourself by taking your foot off the gas, then you practice the seat of the breath. Do it for rounds or timing. And then balance yourself off. Do both techniques together. Balance it off using the Nadi Shodhana. And that'll help keep the front end of your car aligned so that you can drive straight down the road. You won't have to pull one way or the other. This will drastically help to improve the conditions that you're feeling in your physical body, your mental body, and your emotional body. As always, I wish you well and use this meditation technique to your best advantage. Sana.